The KDE Connect Android app provides integration between your Android devices and your computer, allowing you to share files, copy-paste text, and send SMS directly from your desktop, as well as many other useful features. So let's get started with pairing. Here we have a view of my Android device, and here we have the KDE Connect desktop settings module. So we can click on my phone, and then we can click on Request Pair. The request comes to the phone, and then we can accept it. Now we see a list of available plugins, as well as a list of plugins which don't yet work due to missing permissions. So we can already do something useful. We click on Remote Input, then we can control the desktop mouse from the phone, which is very useful for giving presentations, for instance. Now let's say we'd want to do something else. So maybe we want to be able to read our notifications from the desktop. So Notification Sync, it says we need to grant permissions to access notifications. And of course, this isn't a regular Android permission, but we handle it in the same way. We send the user to the settings screen. We allow the permission. And now we see that I've got a dentist appointment next week. Maybe we'd like to see something else, though. Maybe we'd like to be notified when there's an incoming phone call. That requires a special permission, but we can click on the telephony notifier, which handles it. To see phone calls and SMS, we need to give permissions to see phone calls and SMS. OK. Would we like KDE Connect to be able to see phone calls? Yes, as well as SMS. And call logs are also required as of a recent Android version. Now I'll give myself a call. Give it a second to connect. And now we say we've got an incoming call on the desktop. I also get notified of the missed call since I ignored it. I also said we'd be able to view SMS, so for that we need one more plugin, which is listed here. To send an SMS plugin. That just needs to be activated. And now we can open the SMS viewer and we can see all the messages from all of my contacts, but they're not yet listed with contact information. Of course, there's a contact synchronization plugin we haven't yet enabled, so if we enable it to see contacts, we need to give permissions to the contacts book. Uh, KDE Connect Access. We have to give it just a second to actually copy over. Should be available. Now we see all the messages as well as the contacts who sent them. If we'd like to see a new message, I can send myself one. You see this new message pops to the top. We can view it, as well as the very long history of testing this application. We can reply to it.